everybody and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Carrie and this is Tiff. She's my special guest today Whoa. on our 28 week pregnancy bump date update. Yes, and when your pregnant wife asks you to do a cameo in her video, you say yes. That's right, folks. Because if you don't, then that's just silly. When your pregnant wife asks you to do anything, what do you say? Yes. <laughs> Not how <laughs> much or when or j yes. You just do it. You just do it. Yeah. So we're 28 weeks, which means we are in the third trimester. Third trimester. Which means we are super close to delivering 12 weeks. Just keep them cooking. I am. Just keep them cooking. I am. So how big is baby this week? I don't Do know. you know? I don't. You don't? Okay. How well, big is my baby? He's between 15.5 and 16 inches long. Mm -hmm. And around two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds? Okay. Yeah, about two and a quarter to two and a half. Wow. From the material that I'm reading. Yeah. So. He's growing. He's getting pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling him move a lot. Yeah, so am I. I know. So, what is that the equivalent of in like everyday products that we, we use? Well, it's the size of a coconut. Must be before they take all the... All, yeah, before the, the husk, husk off. off of it. Mm -hmm. um, an ichinda. Ichidna? It's an animal. Okay. Don't know. Don't know really much about it. And a rollerblade. So he's the size of a roller blade. A roller blade? Yes. In length, I'm gonna assume, maybe height. I'm not sure, it's not both though. Okay, I was gonna say, cause, <laughs> whew, okay. Cause, ouch. So, what is happening with him this week? Well, his adrenal glands are producing uh, androgen. Okay. So, that's going to make my body start lactating soon. I'm, yep. I didn't mean to just look down, but <laughs> I did. You did. I'm curious right. about the lactating. It signals lactation. So. Okay. So could it happen in the middle of the night, like while you're sleeping, or? Well, I've never experienced it, so I'm so, not sure. Okay. And it didn't say when. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Okay. Um. Also, he is increasing his amount of body fat. Obviously, he's gaining some weight. Mm -hmm. So that is going to help him regulate his body temperature. Nice. Yeah. Um, he's also getting more muscle tone, so... So he's bulking up? Yeah, he's bulking up. Yeah, Getting nice. some big muscles like his mama. Your little brother is bulking up. Right? Yeah. Now his eyes might he's have color up. right now, but his final pigment won't come in until after birth because his eyes need to be exposed to light. Oh, for the pigment to come in? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that can take up to nine months after he's born. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We might not know his real eye color until mm -hmm. he's nine months old. So if he comes out flashing baby blues, they might not stay. Baby they might blues. not stay baby blues. Yep, they could be brown like mine. <sighs> These videos are very informative. Thank they you are. for doing them every week. You're welcome. Thanks What's for next? joining me. Um, let's see. He is experiencing REM sleep, oh. just like you and I. So he goes through cycles of that. I wonder if he tells you when he's turning over. <sighs> I wish he would. I'm rolling over on the right <laughs> side now. I'm not breach anymore, Mom. <laughs> um, he's also practicing breathing and coughing. Oh, nice. Now, he could get hiccups, too. I haven't felt any hiccups yet. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people say it feels like a rhythmic movement, and it'll last quite some time. So, if he's getting hiccups, it could be in the middle of the night, and I don't know it. Yeah. So, that's okay. all that's going on with Little Man this week. So, what's going on with you? Well, I will tell you. Okay. First of all... Um, I asked people last week to let me know if they had any questions because I feel like I talk about the same things every week, right? Uh -huh. So someone asked how my dry skin was doing, like my itchy legs. Yes. And they are doing fantastic. I had one day where they were kind of itchy because I had forgotten to put on some lotion, but I used my lotion and I've remembered ever since and it's been great. So it's preventative if you use the mm. lotion. Yeah. That's good because those yep. first couple of nights... It was awful. I wanted to get like a brush and just scratch your legs. I wanted to cut my legs off. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you didn't do that. Me too. Yeah. Um, someone asked if it feels like my center of gravity has changed. And I'm going to say that it can happen during pregnancy. 
um, but it has not felt that way for me yet. Okay. Um, I'm a taller person, so I think that everything has stayed fairly center so far. Even though my bump is getting bigger, I don't think it's gotten big enough to where I feel off balance. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, another question is, do I have any vision issues? Because that can happen during pregnancy. Why mm -hmm. are you smiling at me like that? You're just really pretty. Thanks. And I like watching you do these videos. Well, thank you. So the answer to the vision is not that I've noticed. I haven't noticed any blurry vision or um, things like that. So, no, I haven't. Notice any blurry vision, I guess. No blurry vision. Although it is possible, it can happen. I talked about it a long time ago, and I think it can happen throughout the whole pregnancy. Man, way to leave us hanging on that one for a minute. I was like, <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Okay. No. Um, as far as cravings, I really haven't had any lately. Um, movements, though, we have some exciting news. Someone felt little man move. It was so cute. It was so We really cute. tried for so long, and, mm -hmm. and we were at the hospital a couple days before, and all the nurses kept feeling him kick, and I was like... Yeah, she was really upset. I mean, it wasn't like... Yeah, I was upset. You were upset. I was upset. But we got it like two days after we went to the hospital, so yeah. that was... That was really a great moment. Yeah, I didn't know if we were going to catch it because I ended up getting out of bed mm -hmm. and I, I tried to make it work and then I went to get something and came back finally and Carrie was like, well, let's try it one more time. So I just kept singing and doing things and then finally I waited a few minutes and again yeah. sang again mm -hmm. and it <laughs> it was the best so, so far. Yeah, if you guys missed feeling. that moment, I'm going to put a card up in the top, one of these corners. And you guys can go back and watch that vlog and see that moment. Yeah. And see how special it was for us. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, <clears throat> I still don't have any swelling, which is great. And I'm still using the bathroom constantly. I feel like I go to the bathroom and I walk out the door and I'm like, didn't I just go to the bathroom? I say that all the time, don't I? Yeah. And Tiffany's like, yeah, you did. It's been well, happening more go when you go to bed too. Yeah. So it must be when you're like laying down and not sitting up. Maybe, or maybe when I'm resting. Yeah, like, when like I'm just saying, like when you're leaning, I, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I feel so bad for you because our bed's kind of high. It is. So she's crawling up into the bed and then has to get back down. Strug I struggle getting out of bed. It's easier to get in than out. I will admit that. Um, so we talked about this just a little bit, but Saturday we ended up having to go to the OBER, right? Um, like I always say, we talk about this in the vlog, but I reiterate it here just in case you guys missed that vlog, but you catch these updates. So I was suffering from a headache at, that turned into a migraine for at least three days. And one of the things I'm allowed to take is Tylenol, but it wasn't touching my headache. So I called the 24 seven nurse line and they suggested because migraines can be like a symptom of preeclampsia that we go in to the hospital and get checked out for that. So we went in, got all hooked up to the monitor, heard little man's heartbeat, heard him moving all around. That was really cool, but they checked me for swelling and um, my blood pressure Which is was another really one. Low. My blood pressure was good. It was 117 over 78 or something, something like that, like when, that. Yeah, 118. It was, it was good. Um, so, turns out everything's fine. I was having no contractions. I was just suffering from a migraine. So, after they gave me some medication, they wrote me a script, made sure that my headache was going away, and then they sent me on our, sent <laughs> us on our way. Yeah. So we spent about three hours there. It was kind of scary um, going into it just because, you know, we didn't know what to expect and what if it really was preeclampsia, but we're glad that we got everything checked out. So, yeah, we're really glad. Yeah. Yeah. So there was that. And then we had our follow up on our 28 week, our 28 week appointment yesterday at the OB. Mm -hmm. So, and we also did our 28 week glucose test. Mm -hmm. That was fun. 
it was a lot better than last time because I had my lovely wife there with me keeping me company. And we had an appointment while I was letting the glucose go through my system. Which I think that eased it a little bit too. Because I can't imagine drinking all that stuff and then not being able to take a drink. Yeah. Like without a distraction. <laughs> She's fine. Just When I was by myself, I was sitting in the waiting room for an hour and I was just like so jittery. I was nervous. I was shaky from the sugar. I was ready to like run around the building. But because we had other things to do, I didn't focus on the glucose test and that really helped a lot. Right. So, and I did get my results back today. They're normal, so no more glucose tests for me. Yeah, and one thing about the hospital that we're, you know, going to, mm -hmm. they are really thorough with making sure you get that information. So, oh, yeah. I don't know if any of you guys are fans of The Office, but if you remember when Ryan started Woof, you know, like, all of a sudden we'll get a phone call with a recording. <laughs> Carrie and I will both get text messages. We'll get email alerts and mm -hmm. email. And I know there, it's just all at once. It really, it reminds me of that uh -huh. whole episode where Ryan was like, yeah. oh, send a woof. And it was mm -hmm. like, facts, tell them, just everything. So that's kind yeah. of, they so it's very really thorough. nice. Yeah. I remember mm, I got some results back once and I got like three separate phone calls for the same thing. Mm -hmm. You do not have this. Thank you. <laughs> I... Um, whenever you're pregnant, this is going to be kind of gross in the beginning, but they check you for everything. They do. They have to. Mm -hmm. Well, what they didn't realize at first was that, and they still haven't, that all the text messages come to my phone too. Uh -huh. I had my phone hooked up. I signed you up for those. No, and that, okay, fine. that's fine. My, I was using my phone at school to play something off of the phone, and I was doing a mirror. Uh, and at the top of it, <laughs> it said, uh, your test results for chlamydia were negative yeah. <laughs> yeah and uh of course everyone saw that so school. i just kind of sat there like hey. <laughs> well there's that that's, so that's the actual phone call that i got three times but yeah i wasn't gonna say that well but, i figured oh well. and i didn't mean to i don't want to oh, be gross okay. but it, hey it was negative so they, congratulations they to check you for it so yeah they check you know i mean for everything because they need to know mm -hmm. when baby comes out because you know, I mean, that could be really bad. Right. And maybe there's some different goop that they have to use. I don't know. Yeah. So. So our OB appointment went well. His heart rate was like 136. It was so good to hear, even though we had just heard it on Saturday. I think that was literally hours. the only thing that kept us in check. Uh -huh. Because we typically don't charge our phones all the time because we're, you know, we don't use them all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, my phone was at like 40%. And when we got there, Carrie's was around 45, something oh, like yeah. that. Well, if we hadn't had Little Man's Heartbeat playing in the background, it would have been silent in there. Yes. So thankfully, he was keeping us going and mm -hmm. him moving mm -hmm. because it was it was pretty rough not being able to like look on our you know do anything Facebook yeah. something something yeah yeah so so um, at our OB appointment yesterday, one thing we learned about was that it's recommended for pregnant women in their third trimester to get a Tdap shot. Yes. And the Tdap shot is a shot, it's a vaccine that has tetanus, um, diphtheria, and pertussis in it. And they're most worried about the pertussis because of whooping cough. Yeah. Um, they can't start a vaccine on a newborn until at least two months, I believe is what they said. So if I were to get the Tdap shot, then some of the vaccine would go into him and it would help him Yeah. within those two months prevent him from getting whooping cough. Help prevent him, not completely, right? Um, and it's also recommended that anyone who's gonna be around little man gets a T-dip shot as well. So. Look at that, look at those guns. <laughs> our, um, <clears throat> our doctor, we live really close to our doctor thankfully and they offer the vaccine so, and they do it on a walk-in basis. So as soon as our OB appointment was over yesterday, we just went and got the Tdap shot. And I really like the way she's telling the story. <laughs> like I voluntarily went because how it really went down was, oh, I, we need to get this shot. And, and of course I'm like, oh gosh, another shot. I didn't want Carrie to get it. Not thinking that I had to get it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I have to get it. Yeah. And our families have to get it. And anybody who's around the baby 
is supposed to get it. Now, I know that talking about vaccines is a little controversial. Yeah. And I am, I'm open for any discussion on any vaccine. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to say yes or no. This is what our family's doing. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, we find out from our friends, from our nursing friends, from like yeah. everyone that I just hadn't heard of Neither have people I. having to get this. You know, Carrie mm -hmm. was already caught up on her, you know, immunizations. But they recommend that you get it during your pregnancy. Again. So even though I got my Tdap two years ago, they su suggested that I get it again. And, and my personal belief on immunizations is if you've had them as a child, you continue to keep getting them because it's just like a medicine. Mm -hmm. Your body stops producing what you put into it. I'm not stops completely, and let's not get science in here, but <laughs> I'm just saying like yeah. it was necessary for us to get it because if you... Um, Unfortunately, whooping cough, pertussis, is kind of going around again. I'm not sure why, but it's enough of a reason for me to want to keep my son safe. Yeah. I don't want him to cough for 10 days so much that he throws up mm -hmm. and loses um, his body bodily fluids. Right. So it's very important. I had the talk with my mom today mm -hmm. about getting it. Um, and like you said. I told my mom about it. Insurance covers mm -hmm. it. Uh, you know, and it's not something that's specific to our doctor either because no. we've talked with our friends who've recently had children and they also had to get the teed out. Yeah, so. and uh, the only side effects really are like stomach There's nausea. You can get a mild fever, you can be tired, muscle soreness is a big one for me. Um, code brown. <laughs> code brown, yeah. Don't no, mind pointing at me. Because I don't have it. I don't either. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's a good thing for you to look into if yeah. um, immunizations are your thing. Yes. If not, just move along. Mm -hmm. So, that is all that we have about us, really. Do you have anything more to add? Like, how these past 28 weeks have been going for you? I don't like to take over your video, because this is kind of like your thing. Okay. So, I mean... Well, you know, a lot of the apps that I look at, yeah. it says information for partners, too. Like, what can you be doing during this time? Is there anything that like, I could be doing for you that I haven't been doing? No, you've been doing everything. <laughs> I continue to drive Miss Daisy around, yes. because all and of a sudden, now that she's pregnant, will. she can't drive. She just She's unable to drive. Yeah, no, just, you're. I think that you're, pregnancy brain, you know. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Yeah, she'll forget to turn left. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that you've been doing pretty well so far. I've noticed that I've been more of a worrier uh -huh. than I thought I was going to be about things. Uh -huh. You know, like before all this, I've always been a planner. I mean, not to say that I don't fly by the seat of my pants and just do things, you know. Uh -huh. I don't plan out my day by any means. But as far as like planning for like a big event, for a trip, for um something coming up like i'm pretty good with it you know i know where all the exits are when we go into some place like but i couldn't plan you having to go to the hospital right so then it got me thinking this whole your water breaking is just going to happen at one point yeah we're not gonna plan it obviously no so there are these like medical issues that are unplanned they're unexpected mm -hmm. they're they're gonna pop up and I mean, I may not be able to be prepared for them, you know, but... You just but have to learn how to, you know, ride through the storm. Keep it calm, I guess, mm -hmm. is what I really need to do. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I guess if I had a question for you... Okay. Uh, are you still nervous about giving birth? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's not changing as time goes by? It has not changed. I might, you know, eventually get to the point where I'm ready to pop and it's just like, all right, whatever we got to do, get them out of me. But at this point, I'm still like, <sighs> labor scares me, C-sections scare me. <laughs> it all scares me. Well, I think it's great that you did this for our family because, again, I'm old and <laughs> I'm a little more on the plus size. So am I. Thanks, little Debbie. <laughs> um, other than that, though, that's really about it. Um, yeah. Not that you caught me on the spot or anything, but oh, kind sorry. of. Sorry. No, no, no. I, I like it. Okay. I just am glad that you're the vessel and I'm not. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I definitely need to be more uh, prepared for unexpected medical yeah. anomalies. Yes. That was for you, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
now that we are done talking about us, we do have a product of the week. Um, as you guys might know, I have been experiencing some pretty terrible heartburn. Um, it happens when I eat, you know, pizza. It also happens when I eat salad and then I don't have a meal for like four more hours. It happens when you eat a banana. It happens when you have cereal. Yeah, it happens when you really have asparagus or sweet potato. Mm -hmm. She gets heart. So burn. it's not just, it's not that I'm always eating spicy foods no. or tomato sauce or things that trigger my heartburn. It's just, Hi, I'm getting heartburn frequently. You know, my uterus is growing, pushing on my stomach. My stomach's pushing acid up my esophagus. Mm -hmm. That's just what happens. And I found out Come when on. you have an empty stomach, your stomach acid is more acidic, mm -hmm. which makes it worse. So I need to start eating smaller meals. And, and that actually goes more to, frequently to anyone who has who suffers from heartburn. Heartburn. Mm -hmm. uh, eat smaller meals throughout yes. the day. It'll help you. Yeah. With that heartburn. So I was taking Tums for this, but I found out, we found out at our OB appointment that Tums can have an acidic rebound. So they work temporarily, but then you bounce right back with heartburn. So the uh, doctor suggested um, my Lanta or Maalox, which is a liquid. I've got an off-brand one right here. It's cherry flavored. The Mylanta, which she was gonna get, was mint flavored. Yeah, and I prefer cherry. Even though she loves mint things, so it really perplexed me. Uh, you love those mint bells. You love thin mints. I do. I just think like I'm you think so a used, mint drink. I'm so used to fruity like antacids that a mint one creeps me out. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Okay. It's fair. So this is supposed to last longer. It's a liquid, so it coats everything. And um, you shouldn't get that acidic rebound. Yeah. If I do, then we can talk about some over-the-counter antacids. But this is has been working out pretty well for me so far. Yeah. Um, so that's good because there were nights when I like on the back of the Tums bottle it says, "Do not take more than five if you are pregnant." And I'm thinking to myself, how many tums did I take today? Can I take another one? Is it gonna be all right? So this has been a relief from having to count tums. Yeah. For sure. So that is my product of the week. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think that's it. I think we're just gonna have to get to the baby bump now. Yeah. this week she thinks that I'm getting to be huge you I mean I don't know if this photo is gonna reflect what I see uh-huh because sometimes it's a little bit deceiving yeah but man when you you are getting big girl mm -hmm. in a good way I wait not that getting big is in a bad way <laughs> keep it down try it again <laughs> yeah um, I can definitely see the difference when I go from like 13 weeks to 20 weeks to yeah. 28 weeks. Um, week to week is a little bit harder for me to see a difference, but you know, I'm feeling it. Still hard to bend over and... Which she doesn't need a gripper, folks. It's no. not that bad. No, I can bend over. It's just yeah. getting harder. Yeah, and she's over. got nice little slip-on little Vans shoes or, yeah. you know, we got her all set. So yep. it's pretty easy for her. Yeah. And, so. and I'll tie your shoes if you need me to. Thank you. You're welcome. I love her. Right. Well, thanks for having me on your show. Yes. I love being Thank part of the update you. bump dates. Yes. You got to be at a great point. That's great. Third Coming trimester, third guys. Trimester, We're really yeah. moving. I mean, you're going to be in school the rest of the time, so <sighs> yeah. this will be the last time everyone sees you in the, in the pregnancy update. So thank you for yeah. joining me. You're welcome. All right, guys. Well, until next time. 
Thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity.